Manchester United 1, Sheffield United 2. What's your reaction to that? Let me know in the comments below. Sheffield United hadn't beat us in any competition since 1993. Sheffield United have only scored two goals on two occasions this season. The two games against Manchester United. If Manchester United are really considering themselves to be title contenders this season, you cannot lose against the team that is rock bottom of the Premier League. What are we doing tonight? Another ca Look, I said in that game against... And, and let's be honest, there's no point beating Liverpool if you're going to go and lose at home to fucking Sheffield United, who are bottom. Our form... I'd love to know your opinions on this, but what the hell is wrong with United at home? Spurs. Was it Crystal Palace at the start of the season? We've lost like five... Like League Cup, we've lost like four or five games at home this year. I think we've got a negative goal difference at Old Trafford. What is going on? As amazing as we've been away from home after we go 1-0 down, we're awful at home. What is causing that? But tonight, I said in the game against Liverpool, we saw the best and the worst about United this season. We saw the best because we were mesmerising going forward in our moments, but the worst because defensively we were poor. But tonight, we just saw the worst. We just saw another set piece conceded. <sighs> Poor defending. What I will say is it's pretty shocking, really, that Sharp was allowed to do that and basically try and take De Gea down. And that goal stood, and then Maguire went in with Ramsdale, and that goal was disallowed. Where's the consistency in that regard? But that's not the reason for United's loss. The reason for United's loss tonight were, again, were our own mistakes. What are we doing in training when it comes to set pieces if we are not improving on them? They surely are the simplest thing to improve on. You sit in position, you hold your position... And I'm sorry, but that's what Harry Maguire should be doing as the leader of the team. Marshalling that defence and making sure that everybody is marking their man and making sure that that whole defence is organised for the set pieces. But we're not, and he's not. And I think he's got to take some blame for that. De Gea has certainly got to take some blame for that. But just United today, look, you can go and say, look, oh, we've got that. Look, fair, fair enough to Maguire for getting the equaliser, but ultimately it proved pointless. And Maguire, look, again, I don't know why I'm talking about him so much, but he was the man that I'm really, I suppose, I'm focusing on from this. For that second goal, Tuanzebe, it's unlucky. He stuck his leg up, but it's a deflection. You can't really ever blame a player for a deflection. Maguire, for me, it's the hospital pass that he, he played. He just like shafted it out wide. And he did it when, I think it was Dean Henderson at Sheffield United again, when he passed it back to Dean. And then Dean obviously made a big mistake, but Maguire's got a bit of a habit of doing these hospital passes. Like he's panicking and just... just Kicking it wherever he can. But United tonight, look, we've we've had brilliant moments this season. We've had terrible moments this season. And, and again, that game there it typifies why United fans are staying quiet about all of this. Sure, we're title challengers. Of course we are. We're, we're second in the league. I don't know where we are now after that. But City, about, like, imagine that Sheffield United team playing City next week. Now, they will not lose 2-1 at home. I can guarantee you that. But tonight... Anthony Martial, good God, why is, Edison, why is Edison Cavani not starting for United every single game? And why is Luke Shaw not starting for United? I thought the idea of uh, Cavani not starting and Shaw not starting was, was a show of confidence from Ole Gunnar Solskjaer that we're going to do it against Sheffield United at home. And in that sense, it's a show of complacency because Shaw came on and Cavani came on. And neither of them could really make a difference by that point because it, the tempo of the game just wasn't suiting United. Martial, though... He is awful this season in the same sense that he's, he does get some goals. He gets some goal contributions, but as a pure number nine, I don't think he's going to be the man that wins Manchester United any Premier League titles. I do think he's still better suited out wide, and I think I would say the same thing for Rashford, and I would say the same thing about Greenwood, which is probably why Cavani, when he's in that team, makes such a difference to the attacking shape that we have. Oh, it was just painful watching that. No, first 10 minutes, you're looking at Paul Pobby, looking at the swagger that we had. We, it was a good feeling, but then United weren't breaking them down. We didn't have any penetration. Sheffield United would sit in discipline and sit in deep, which is what you're going to do if you're bottom of the Premier League. And then they got a goal from a set piece, which is what you're going to do when you're bottom of the Premier League. You're going to focus on your set pieces because if you can't break the teams down because you don't have the quality going forward, you can do anything from a set piece, especially if you play Manchester United. Come on down if you want to score a set piece. But it's, it just pisses me off to see that, that, that repeated mistake, the consistent mistake. That has to be fixed on a training ground. The set pieces are surely the simplest thing to fix. Everybody's in a fixed position. There's a ball getting kicked from the exact same spot 
and they're trying to land it on the exact same spot every single time. How hard can it be to defensively organise that and improve on, sure, you can be bad at set pieces, but you can work on it. I don't know what we're doing. And it's just frustrating to see United, that was a potential banana skin tonight, and we just fell on our ass in a muddy puddle. It was a, it was a game where it was a... It was a game where if we won it, nobody would be, you know, popping bottles of champagne and saying we're going to win the league because we're just beating bottom of the Premier League. But if you lose that game, it just highlights the fears that United fans still have about this team and will have until this defence is sorted. And the reason that other people and other fans and other pundits aren't really considering United title contenders because City would not do that against Sheffield United. Probably the only team I would say this season that I would absolutely bank on that. And I hope... This comes to bite me in the arse. And I hope Sheffield United beat City next week. And then we can move on from this. But just to go from the highs of doing that against Liverpool to the lows of what we've seen there, it just re reinforces the problems that we've got in our defence. It, re it just it highlights them all. Maguire was at fault. I would say Tellez was uh, Tellez is looking more like Diogo Dalot than Luke Shaw, unfortunately. Tellez, I expected a lot more from him. A Champions League... Top quality, perfect age, 27, 28, I think he is. Proven left back. Not proving much at the moment. He really doesn't want to overlap by the looks of it. I don't know whether that's an instruction from Ole Gunnar Solskjaer or not, but just the whole defence. Tuan Zebe, am I going to blame him for the deflection? No, I don't think that's very fair, but Tuan Zebe lunged in for that tackle on John Fleck and he, was, he wasn't as assured as I've seen him before. But just to say, I don't know, I don't know man. I, it, this, is, this is what United are. United are not the finished article, so United are going to get games like this where you go... F but it's that same feeling that I have not missed of one step forward and two steps back. And now we've got Arsenal at the weekend. And it didn't really seem to matter what form we go to Arsenal in. It didn't really matter to see what form Arsenal are in. It always turns up to be a, a decent game for Arsenal. So after that result, the momentum... Is out of our sails, but luckily we're away from home. Uh, let me know in the comments below. Honestly, what what do you think is the reason for our fantastic form away from home compared to our form at home? What is causing that? Because it's ha just like United uh, coming from behind to win away from home is it's happening too often to call it a coincidence. Our form at home, it's happening too often, too poorly. Too often for it to be a coincidence, in my opinion. Now, something is causing that, and I don't know what it is. Let me know what you think in the comments below. But 2-1 there, a horrible loss to Sheffield United. It doesn't rule us out of the title race, and a win there wouldn't have ruled us in the title race. It's it's just, it's a game which, it puts a megaphone next to the problems that United have. Our defence is still shit. And it's really annoying that we keep making these amateur defensive mistakes that undo the good work that we're doing going forward. You can't rely on your attack to score three goals to bank to get you out of every single game. My opinion. Let me know what you think in the comments below. But that's a that's a, that's a game that that's a loss that hurts. After the Liverpool game and the form that United were in, we just needed to get past that Sheffield United game and then go into Arsenal with a real real momentum instead. We just slipped on a banana skin, so we're going down and we're trying to get up off the floor at the Emirates. Let me know what you think about that in the comments below. Make sure you subscribe or drop a like if you're watching it on Facebook. Painful defeat though, very painful.